Our first order of business. And our last, if we vote a levy. Order. Order. Mr. Sims, you do not have the floor. Our first order of business will be an address by Colonel Harry Burwell of the Continental Army. Colonel Burwell. You all know why I'm here. I'm not an orator. And I would not try to convince you of the worthiness of our cause. I'm a soldier. And we are at war. From Philadelphia, we expect a declaration of independence. Eight of the 13 colonies have levied money in support of a continental army. I ask that South Carolina be the ninth. Massachusetts and Virginia may be at war, but South Carolina is not. Hear, hear. This is not a war for the independence of one or two colonies, but for the independence of one nation. And uh, yes, what nation is that? An American nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no such nation, and to speak of one is treason. Well said. We are citizens of an American nation, and our rights are being threatened by a tyrant 3,000 miles away. Would you tell me, please, Mr. Howard, why should I trade one tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away? <laughs> An elected legislature can trample a man's rights as easily as a king can. Captain Martin, I understood you to be a patriot. If you mean by patriot, am I angry about taxation without representation? Well, yes, I am. Should the American colonies govern themselves independently? I believe they can, and they should. But if you're asking me, am I willing to go to war with England, well, then the answer is most definitely no. This from the same Captain Benjamin Martin, whose fury was so famous during the Wilderness Campaign. I was intemperate in my youth. Temperance can be a convenient disguise for fear. Mr. Middleton, I fought with Captain Martin under Washington in the French and Indian War. There's not a man in this room or anywhere for that matter, to whom I would more willingly trust my life. Here, here. There are alternatives to war. We take our case before the king. We plead with him. Yes, we've tried that. Well, then we try again and again, if necessary, to avoid a war. Benjamin, I was at Bunker Hill. The British advanced three times, and we killed over 700 of them at point-blank range, and still they took the ground. That is the measure of their resolve. If your principles dictate independence, then war is the only way. It has come to that. I have seven children. My wife is dead. Now, who's to care for them if I go to war? Wars are not fought only by childless men. Granted. But mark my words, this war will be fought not on the frontier or on some distant battlefield, but amongst us, among our homes. Our children will learn of it with their own eyes. And the innocent will die with the rest of us. I will not fight. And because I will not fight, I will not cast a vote that will send others to fight in my stead. And your principles. I'm a parent. I haven't got the luxury of principles. Must vote the levy. 